What amazing things will happen to you? Who will you become? What will happen? So I'm gonna give you a very simple process in order for you to set goals properly. And also there is a free worksheet down below that you can print out, write down your goals, know exactly what you want so that you will 100% achieve 90% of those goals. Welcome back to another video. I'm Maximilian. I help entrepreneurs reprogram their life, rewire their mind for happiness, success, abundance, fulfillment, confidence, you name it. I do it. And I'm here to help you set goals properly in a positive way that will 100% allow you to achieve those goals. So goals are a big and important thing that we need in life. And I've noticed 100% of the goals that I put down, not 100%, that's a lie. 90% of the goals that I put down, I've hit. And I look back at the goals that I've written down six months ago, a year ago, two years ago, and I've hit a lot of them. And I'm going to show you the exact way how to do it, because a lot of the goals that I didn't hit were just extremely out there. And I wasn't at a point in my life at that time to be able to actually attract those type of goals into my life because I didn't have the ability, I didn't have the skill, I didn't have the capability, and I didn't have the people around me in order to push me towards those goals. So I'm going to give you a very simple process in order for you to set goals properly. And also, there is a free worksheet down below that you can print out, write down your goals, know exactly what you want so that you will 100% achieve 90% of those goals. So first things first with setting goals. You need to state them in a positive. You can't say, I don't want to be fat anymore. I don't want to be poor anymore. I don't want to be slow anymore. You want to say, I want to be healthier or I will be healthier. I will be more abundant. I will be faster. I will be more intelli intelligent. That is the goal, setting it in a positive state of mind. Because when you stay in a negative state of mind, what you're saying is, I don't want to be fat. You're saying, I am fat, basically. Not I want to be healthier, because that means you're on a process to being healthier. That means you're on a process to being more abundant. That means you're on a process to being um, more intelligent. But if you're saying, I don't want to be stupid, you're focusing on stupid. And what you focus on, where focus goes, energy flows. And like if you say, don't focus on a purple elephant, or don't focus on um, that one kid that annoyed you in school once, straight away your focus goes there to then not focus on it. So essentially you're, you're taking, you're not even wasting time going to the original thing, you're going to the actual goal that you want to achieve, you're going towards the issue and, and completely squashing the issue and going towards where you want to go with the goal. Step number two is get extremely specific with exactly what it is that you want to manifest, the exact goal that you want to happen, however you want it to come by. Now you can interchange goals and outcomes, it doesn't really matter, but the main thing is that you know exactly what you want. And what is it you want? Do you want more money? Because more money, theoretically, a pound is more money. Do you want to be happier? If your goal is to be happier, again, it's very, it's not specific enough for you to actually achieve it because what is happiness to you? Just saying I want to be happier is never gonna allow you to get to happiness because you need to be specific about what happiness is. You need to be specific about the amount of money you want. You need to be specific about the person that you want in your life. Um, the friends that you want, the relationships you want, whatever it is, the job, the business, however it is, you need to be crystal clear on exactly what it is. Now, don't get me wrong, these will change, these goals will adapt and change through the times. As you start to grow, you start to change them, and that's exactly how it works. Because if you look at my goals five years ago, all I wanted was stuff, that was all I wanted. But then I realized if I became someone, the stuff would come as a byproduct. I don't need the stuff, I don't want the stuff. The stuff comes to me because I've changed who I am as a person and I allow it to come into my life. So make sure you are super, super, super specific and allow yourself to know exactly what you want because when you're clear on an outcome, you know where you're going. If you put a destination into a sat nav or a GPS, you will get to the outcome, it will find you the right road. If you don't know the destination, you don't know how clear it is, you just say, let's say for example, you just say London, and you don't live in, you, you live in Manchester for example. If you put London in, you will end up somewhere in London. Where is it that you wanna be in London? Is it North London, is it East London, is it South London? Is it a specific road in London? Is it Chelsea, is it, is it Liverpool Street, is it uh, Oxford Street? Where in London do you want to be? You need to be crystal clear because if you tell someone I'll meet you in London, that could be absolutely anywhere. And think about how London, how big London really is. In logic, in the grand scheme of things, it's not the biggest city, but it's a big place. And you're never going to find someone if your goal is just we'll meet you in London somewhere. Where is somewhere? Be completely and super, super, super specific. Step number three: Is this goal within your control? 
and that rhymes so it sounds amazing. But is this goal genuinely within your control? For example, I want everyone around me to change is not a feasible goal because that's not within your control. That's called manipulation. The only way you can do that is if you become someone like Adolf Hitler and you can do that in a very negative way. So please don't do that. You're watching these videos, I know you wouldn't do that. You're, you're the type of person who wants to grow and wants to create greatness in the world. So ask yourself that question. Is this goal that you want to achieve within your control? Making more money, it is in your control. Bec becoming healthier is within your control. Becoming happier mentally, physically, spiritually is within your control. Becoming more connected on a spiritual level is within your control. All these things are within your control. The difference is what action are you taking because they're in your control. You can't say I want Lamborghini to bring out a cheaper car because that's not a great goal, it's not gonna happen because you don't own Lamborghini, you don't work for Lamborghini at a high up level, unless you do. And if you do, then make it happen if it is within your control. But make sure that this goal that you are trying to achieve, this outcome you're trying to achieve is 100% within your control because you are taking charge of your own life. No one is gonna give you the goals that you want, no one. Great things can happen, miracles can happen, people can come into your life, and that does happen. I'm not saying it doesn't, it does 100% happen, but not a lot of the time. It really is a very far and few between. For example, I know Dana White, um, the owner of UFC, ended up getting the UFC paid for by one of his friends who was a billionaire, which allowed him to run the company, and he had, some, he had a ridiculous share in it. I think it was 30% share when he didn't pay a penny, but he turned the company into a powerful company. It's worth, worth, I don't know exactly how much it's worth, but it's got to be billions now. And he was able to do that and he had a great opportunity right there. He took it because he ran with the opportunity that was uh, presented in front of him when he had that goal there. Step number four is ensure that you have the resources to achieve this goal. What resources do you have right now? And in the worksheet you'll see it. What, what material resources do you have? What people do you have in your life? What monetary resources do you have? What skills do you have? What abilities do you have? For example, if you want to start a business, and let's say you want to do what I'm doing right now, you want to do hypnosis, do you have the adequate skills in order to hypnotize people? If not, then the goal's not achievable until you become adequate at the skill. You become a hypnotherapist, you become a psychologist, you become um, a, a Reiki practitioner, whatever it is that you want to do, you need to make sure that you have the skill. It needs to be within your control, as I said, but you need to have the skill, you need to have the, the resources in general, and the resources come from anything. What willpower do you have within you to then learn the skill to then attract the goal that you want into your life? For example, I want to reach a million people and I want to help them repro reprogram their lives, rewire their minds for having success about the film with confidence, you know I me, mean? I could do it. I want to get to that place, but I needed to learn in order to become the person that could reach those people. And that wouldn't have happened if I didn't learn. And that's where I took it upon myself and said, I can't read, or very, I can't read very well. I need to figure myself out how to study better. How do I do it? So I adapted to myself. It took me a very long time to read all the stuff, whereas some people would read it a lot quicker. But I worked with what I had. I used the resources that I had. And that's when I started, all on a laptop. When my business started to grow, then I was able to buy a computer, which allowed my resources to improve, and so on and so on and so forth. But adding on to that, ensure that you have the resources but also make sure that it's realistic to where you are right now and not pessimistic, realistic. So make it uncomfortable, but realistic. For example, I want to turn over 50 million pounds in my first year of business. Maybe not so realistic if you never started a business before. Is it possible? Yes. But where are you right now? For me, my original goals was I wanted to hit 30,000 pounds by the end of this year. Was that realistic? Not really, because I'd never properly run business for, for longer than a year in a, in a very in a decent way let's say so for me to set that as a goal was a bit unrealistic whereas when I put it to something that was realistic but out of my comfort zone just uncomfortable enough to be like am I gonna do it I'm gonna go for it I'm doing it I'm gonna do it don't know how but I'm gonna do it it, it gives you that little kick up the ass to, to do it to just start to get to get started with it but also the biggest thing that you need to understand is that when you get started it is going to be scary. Anything's, anything that's new is going to be scary. When it's a bit scary, but it's, it's possible, it's realistic, then that's when you're likely to achieve those goals. And if you start with realistic goals, then you can expand those goals and eventually you can get them bigger, bigger, bigger and bigger and say, rather than I want to be just happy, I want to be completely enlightened as an aura about myself that allows people to just be attracted to me, positive people attracted to me, allowing me to give uh, my wisdom, my knowledge to inspire and change people's lives. And if that's your goal, do it, go for it. I truly believe in you, right there, you. 
And the next step is, is it feasible for your current situation? And I have four questions to ask you in order to understand this. I will explain these questions as they may not make much sense, but they will when you're filling out the, the sheet just to make it a bit easier for you. So question number one is what will happen if you achieve this goal? What great things will happen? What amazing things will happen to you? Who will you become? What will happen? Who will you become? What will you do? Who will be around you? Really understanding what will happen when you achieve this goal. When, not if. Question number two, what will happen if you don't achieve this goal? What bad things will happen? How will it make you feel? Will you get to where you want to get to in life or will you always be stuck where you are? What things will not happen? That one's, so it's basically going from the, the positive to the negative because we need a positive outcome, we need a, a pull, but we also need to push away from the negative. Question number three, what won't happen if you achieve this outcome? So for example, will you not be depressed? Will you not be poor? Will you not be unhealthy? Again, staying it in the negative so you're being pushed away from the negative and being pulled towards the positive. And the fourth and final question, what won't happen if you don't achieve this? So for example, going back to, I won't become successful, I won't become happy, I won't become healthy, I won't become this, I won't become that. Again, like I said, pushing yourself away from the negative, pulling yourself towards the positive. This is a very confusing um, bunch of questions to ask yourself, but getting crystal, crystal clear, because like I said, clarity is everything. And the sixth and final step is what action can you take today? For example, if you want to start a business, it's not about starting a business, it's not about starting a corporation, it's not about doing your taxes today. It may genuinely be reading a book on business. It may genuinely be starting that course on business. It may genuinely be asking a friend, asking a mentor that is successful in business, don't get me wrong, you don't just ask anyone, but knows what they're talking about in order to get the, the knowledge and the, the requisite knowledge that you need in order to progress. What is it that you need to do? Do you need to speak to someone to let go of those subconscious programs? For example, if you want to speak to me, send me a message on Instagram. I'm more than happy to help you in any way possible and we can set up a free subconscious mind analysis. What is it that you can do today? What action can you take today? Because the action that you're taking is exactly where you're going to go. Because everything starts with action. Make it a small step. It doesn't have to be big. And remember Martin Luther, Martin Luther King's uh, quote, one of my favourite ones. You don't have to see the whole staircase in order to take the first step. Take step one today. Ten years later, you're, gonna, you're never going to regret that. But if you just do nothing today, ten years later, you are going to regret those ten years that you wasted. I promise you. So, I hope this video has given you some information, some knowledge on how you can set perfect goals to achieve those goals use the worksheet below go over this video again with the worksheet if you need to and if you have any questions leave it in the comments send me a message on instagram but other than that i hope you have an amazing day i hope you keep spreading love kindness and so much positivity